Hey guys, I'm Alistair from Trail and & Kill, and these are the best road to trail shoes right now. So I am filming this video as of September 2024, so if you are watching this in the far far future, then definitely head over to my best trail running shoes roundup on trailandkill.com. On there you will find my most up-to-date list. In this roundup I will be sharing my three favourite road to trail or door to trail running shoes, I have tested and reviewed every running shoe on this roundup. So if you would like to learn about any one of these recommendations in this roundup today, I will be putting links up here and down in the description of my full in-depth reviews of each shoe. So if you wish, you can go check them out afterwards. If at any point in this roundup you're thinking to yourself, hmm, this guy seems to know what he's talking about. Yeah, I'm enjoying his concise roundups. Well, if you do think that, Definitely subscribe to this channel for more running shoe roundups just like this one, but also in-depth running shoe reviews too. Okay, time to quickly define what a road to trail running shoe actually is. Well, first off, you might have heard them being referred to as door to trail shoes or even hybrid running shoes. But essentially all they are are running shoes that are capable of running on road surfaces, but also light trails. So they're a super versatile shoe People who like to go traveling and are not sure whether they're going to be doing an impromptu hike are going to absolutely love these types of shoes because you can just take one pair of shoes and they'll be able to do it all. In the trail running scene they're also very versatile too because if you are a road runner and you're just getting into trail running then it's the obvious shoe to get because you only need one shoe then you can use this shoe for road running but also trail running. And if you are a beginner then you're probably not going to be going on highly technical trails anyway. So it's a perfect fit for you guys. But also they're great for anyone who has to run to their trailhead. So me for example I do actually have to run about a mile before I actually get to my trails. So it's actually really nice having a trail running shoe that's comfortable, cushioned and performs really well on the road as well. Now that's all defined let's get straight into my best road to trail running shoes roundup. In at number three then is the Hoka Challenger 7. Yes, imagine I'm holding this shoe right now. I'm ashamed to say I don't know where my Challenger 7 has actually gone right now. It's not in my rack behind me. Um, it's not even in my secondary rack by the front door. Instead I will overlay clips whilst I'm talking about that shoe because it is a fantastic road to trail shoe. It has a true to size fit and a medium width and it weighs 9 ounces for size US Men's 9 and that's my pair. And it has a classic Hoka drop of 5mm from heel to toe. The Challenger 7 is such an awesome trail running shoe. It's super cushioned but it's also got that snappiness that you kind of want if you want to run a little bit faster too. It's super comfortable right out of the box. I absolutely love that articulated heel counter. Makes them easy to slip on but also it doesn't put too much pressure on the back of your heel. And you're going to love that if you've suffered from Achilles tendonitis issues in the past. The up is breathable and stretches to your feet a little bit as they expand whilst you're running. Adding to that overall comfort. Now the lugs aren't crazy deep but this is a row to trail running shoe so it's not really designed to be going over lots of mud or extremely technical terrain. Buff trails, light trails and road surfaces the outsole is fantastic, providing tons of grip. And right now the Hoka Challenger 7 costs $145, which I think is crazy reasonable for this shoe. In at number two, we have the On Cloud Surfer Trail. This shoe also fits true to size and it has a medium width. It weighs 9.5 ounces for size US Men's 9 and has a drop of 7 millimeters from heel to toe. Now the first thing you'll notice when you slip on the On Cloud Surfer Trail is this Cloudtech Phase midsole. It is super plush and cloud-like to run in. It compresses so much underfoot but also gives that spring back when it releases. So it is a snappy shoe and very cushioned, very comfortable right out of the box. Heavier runners do beware though because there is so much cushioning and compression in this midsole. You might feel like this shoe is a little bit unstable for you and if you are on the heavier end then I would probably avoid the Cloud Surfer Trail and maybe look towards a more balanced midsole road to trail shoe. The upper is super comfortable, just fits like a slipper. The uh, collar and the heel counter is all very padded, super comfortable, it's very breathable as well. And the outsole is using Ons Mission Grip, 
which provides fantastic grip in most circumstances. Again, the lugs aren't crazy deep. This is a road to trail shoe, so it's not really designed to be running in thick mud or technical trails. But buff trails, light trails, gravel, and of course road surfaces, the Cloud Surfer Trail is so much fun to run in, super bouncy, super plush, and all round fun. The Cloud Surfer Trail is a little bit more expensive, coming in at $160, but it's definitely worth it. And in at number one then, we have the Nike Pegasus Trail 5. This door to trail or road to trail running shoe absolutely surpassed my expectations. I really wasn't a fan of the Pegasus Trail 4 that came before this, or the 3. 2 was alright, Pegasus Trail 5 is so back on track. It fits true to size and has a medium width. Although the toe box is a little bit snug, I feel like that's how it's designed, I wouldn't recommend going up a half size or anything like that. They weigh 10.2 ounces for size US Men's 9, and they have a high drop of 9.5mm from heel to toe. The Nike Pegasus Trail 5 has had so many upgrades over the previous version. I guess the biggest upgrade for me is the outsole, and it's now using Nike's ATC, or all-terrain compound, on the outsole, and that provides absolutely fantastic traction. It's almost as good as Vibram Mega Grip, and so much better than Nike's proprietary rubber compound that came before it. The ReactX foam in the midsole is springy, but also it's got some good response. It feels very well balanced overall, which is just what you need for trail running. You need a well-balanced and controllable midsole, which means you need to have some form of response. But it's also super comfortable and got enough cushioning and protection underfoot. The Pegasus Trail 5 doesn't have huge lugs either. It's not supposed to, it's a road to trail shoe. But what I can tell you is the rubber compound is better than any of those other two recommendations on this list. So with that in mind, it is better at technical trail running. And I actually did take this on some fairly technical steep ascents and descents. So I was able to test the ATC rubber compound to the max and it performed amazingly well. So this really is the one road to trail running shoe that is more capable on technical terrain as well as light trails and road surfaces. So it really is a very versatile shoe. The mesh upper is super comfortable, stretches to your feet very nicely. It's very breathable, it has zoned areas where the breathability is better than others. And that's to give you airflow really where you need it and durability in other areas. So if you're looking for a road to trail shoe that combines comfort, responsiveness, cushioning, and control, then you really need to get yourself a pair of Pegasus Trail 5s. It'll allow you to run on road surfaces, light trails, and also some technical trails in complete comfort. And they cost $150. So I think that is really reasonable price for all that. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this best daughter trail running shoes roundup. If you did, please give the video a like, share it with a friend, and subscribe to this channel for more running shoe roundups just like this one, but also in-depth running shoe reviews. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.